Composer Home Edition, or Composer HE, is for users who want to modify some settings that shouldn't require an installer. Composer HE, which runs in Windows, makes it easy to monitor the devices in your system, upload and manage your digital music, create programs to perform multiple events with a button tap, and more. If you haven't done so yet, please view the Composer HE Features and Overview and Composer HE Basics videos before you use Composer HE. As a precaution, Composer HE lets you change some settings in your system, but it does involve some risk for which you must assume responsibility. There's a chance you could disable your system if you change some settings or program your devices incorrectly. If this happens, contact your dealer. This video assumes that Composer HE is installed on your computer. If not, check with your dealer or see Composer HE Getting Started on the Control 4 Owners website. With Composer HE open, I'll click on the Agents button to open the Agents view. Before you work with Agents, you'll need to add these agents to your project. Just click Add in the Agents pane, select the agent to add, and then click OK. In this video, I've already added agents to my project. As you can see, they appear in the Agents pane just below the Add button. You only add agents you'll be using in your programs. In this video, I'll give you some tips about and show you how to use some of the valuable features of the Access, Media Scenes, and Screensaver agents. The Access agent lets you hide buttons on a navigator, such as a touchscreen, and use a pin code to access the settings on your navigators. This is a great way to keep others from tampering with your settings or allow access to certain pages on the navigator. You can enable or disable the agent, establish a four-digit access code that you can hide from others, lock or hide buttons, lock settings, lock the room selector, lock intercom, or lock the ability to edit lighting scenes. You cannot use this agent in programming. The Media Scenes agent lets you create a scene that plays music in selected rooms. For example, you can configure one or more rooms to play the same music at the same volume. Create any number of media scenes attached to any number of rooms in the house. Set one media scene to play in the living room and great room. Set another media scene to play in all rooms on the second floor. You can set up a scene and activate it whenever you'd like. Create a custom button and use it in programming to activate or deactivate the scene. I'll show you how to do that in this video. The Screensaver agent lets you link screensavers or photos to display on your navigators from your local hard drive, a USB drive, or network drive. You'll use the Agents and Media Views to link your favorite photos for your touchscreens. This agent is not really used in programming either. Now I'll show you how to configure each of these agents. First, I'll click on the Access agent in the list to expose the Access Codes view. You don't need to create anything here. This view lets you lock and unlock features on your interfaces and set up a PIN code. Simply use the drop-down list to lock or unlock, enable or disable a feature. You can also use the Set Access Code button to set a code if you lock or disable a feature. Then go to a touch screen. Notice when you try to access a feature you've locked, you can't do it without a valid PIN code. Enter the PIN code to access the feature. You can create many PIN codes. In some cases, you can hide the PIN code so others can't see what the PIN code is, or hide a feature so it won't even appear on the touch screen. To show you how it works, I'll lock the Favorites button and set the PIN code 1234. Don't forget to refresh your navigators for this to take effect. Now if I go over to a touch screen and try to tap the Favorites button, I get a keypad. I'll enter the 1234 PIN code to access my favorites. You can always view and change the PIN code in the Access Agent whenever you like. Now I'll select the Media Scenes Agent and then click New. I'll enter a Media Scene name in the box, for example, Second Floor. I'll click Add Room and select the rooms I want in my scene. For example, I'll add two rooms. I can adjust the volume, set room off, mute, and so on. I'll adjust the volume. 
I can adjust the volume in the discrete volume box if I want to also. To test the new scene, I'll click Activate Scene. I can use my new media scene in programming. I'll show you how to do that a little later. Finally, I'll go to Screensaver. The Screensaver panel lets you find the location where your photos are stored, which can be on your local or external drive. Just select the location of your files and the interval for the photos to change from the drop-down lists. Then go to the Media view, select the location of the photos, and add them to the system. For more information about how to use these agents, refer to the Composer HE User Guide or System User Guide on the owner's website at control4.com. Before I create a program for my media scene, second floor, I've created two custom buttons, Activate Media Scene and Deactivate Media Scene. Used with the media scene, I can program the scene to activate or deactivate when I press one of these custom buttons on my touchscreens. To learn how to use a custom button, see the video Composer HE using variables, macros, and custom buttons in programming. Custom buttons only appear in the navigator after they're created and you refresh the navigator. Now I'll click on the programming button and then show you how to create a simple program with the media scenes and custom buttons agents. In the device events pane on the left, I'll select custom button and then select all rooms home. I'll check press next to activate media scene. The statement when custom button activate media scene on screen home is pressed appears in the script pane. I'll go over to the Device Actions pane and select the Media Scenes. In the Commands tab, I'll select Activate based on Last Selected Room and Second Floor. I'll drag the script Activate Scene Second Floor based on Last Selected Room to the script pane. To deactivate the scene, I'll go over to the Device Events pane and select the Custom button and then select All Rooms Home. I'll check Press next to Deactivate Media Scene. The statement when Custom button Deactivate Media Scene on Screen Home is pressed appears in the Script pane. I'll go over to the Actions pane and select Media Scenes again. In the Commands tab, I'll select Deactivate and Second Floor. I'll drag the script. Deactivate Scene Second Floor to the Script pane. To test the program, I'll go to my touch screen and tap Activate Media Scene under the Home Custom button to see if it works. When I start my music and select the rooms in the Second Floor Media Scene, the volume will be consistent in those rooms. On my touch screen, I'll tap Deactivate Media Scene under the Home Custom button to disable the Media Scene. Now it's your turn to try this agent. If you make a mistake, you can always delete script lines, choose not to back up your project, or not save Composer HE. Be aware, however, if you do this, any changes you've made will not be saved.